Welcome to the International Code Space Online iCool Challenge at Virtual RoboCop 2020, friendlies. Before we begin, let's do a brief introduction of Code Space GP Challenge. Automation of routine tasks is currently a concept that interests many industries. Among the most revolutionary parts of it are autonomous vehicles. These are visions of the future of city infrastructure. The main ideas they all share are self-driving cars and shared mobility. Those are set to revolutionize the ways we navigate through cities. In Cospace GP Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. For the iQOO Challenge at Virtual RoboCup 2020, Participants need to program an autonomous car to navigate in a smart city. The autonomous car needs to pass multiple waypoints before reaching its final destination. In the U12 category, the robot has an IR sensor array, an ultrasonic sensor, and a RGB sensor. It does not need to stop at the waypoints. Throughout the Cospace GP challenge, Participants will use different AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning to accomplish the task. The winner of the challenge will be the robot to pass all waypoints with the shortest time. Dear teacher, hello. My name is Jia Ming Jin from Qichihar City, Heilongjiang Province, China. In this competition, my category is RICAP Cosmos Grand Prix College U12. I have been learning robots for more than three years. But I only started to contact Cospace robots in March this year. Since March, I have been paying close attention to every game of Cospace. And this time is no exception. I have used a lot of competitions. I have participated in and the knowledge I have learned about robot programming. In this competition, in the strategy I used in this program, the most used is the most important knowledge in RACAP Cospace Grand Prix College U12, state variable. Because of the different posture of the Cospace robot in the each section of the map, as shown in Nutrition. I used the variable to control the speed of the car so that the robot can accelerate in the gentle roll, slow down in the bumpy roll, and use it in the place where there are more band speed up let the car smoothly across the curved area. In addition to using state variables, I also use green sensors, color sensors, ultrasonic sensors, and other sensors. As shown in education. Let the car reach the wire zone to patrol the line. The wire line zone or the zone that a green sensor cannot recognize. And look for the obstacles and color blocks provided in the map. 
as shown in education. It is the robot that can accomplish the task accurately. In my opinion, it is not important to take part in competition. The most important thing is to learn from the competition so as to achieve success. Cool times also brought me a lot of knowledge. Let me know what is the green scissor, what is the color scissor. What can they do? I think learning robots can not only bring me knowledge about ethical intelligence, but also help me to go to college or get a good job in the future. Finally, I hope cost-based robots can make progress and grow together with all our competitors and teachers. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Off, the robot has left the starting point. Oops! And we have passed our first waypoint. Wonderful path planning. Second waypoint. Awesome! Great turn. Great shortcut. So much time saved. Third waypoint. Awesome! Great turn. Wonderful path planning. Fourth waypoint. We are now halfway done. Keep going. Awesome. Great turn. Fifth waypoint. Great shortcut. Last waypoint. Almost there. Almost there. Keep going. And we have crossed the finish line. Great job. Congratulations! Challenge completed!